Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another video, part of my North Node in the Zodiac Signs series. So, if you don't know what the North Node is, let me explain it to you in a nutshell. It represents um, your path in life from an astrological point of view, your mission, your destiny, what you are meant to do in this lifetime to evolve and to grow as an individual and let go of past karma and of the past in general. The North Node is a mathematical point in your chart which has an opposite. It's called, guess what, the South Node of the Moon. And these two guys are always in opposite signs. So. In order for you to find out what sign your north node of the moon is, because it's super important, I've left a link in the description box down below. All you need to do is fill in your details, uh, your date of birth, uh, the place you were born in, the time, and once you've generated your natal birth chart, um, look for a glyph that seems that that looks like um, a pair of headphones. That is the north node of the moon. Today, we're going to talk about the North Node of the Moon in Pisces and its opposite, the South Node in Virgo. So, in a past life, or if you don't believe in this, uh, what you've been naturally born with is a lot of Virgo energy. Virgo is a very is, is the most practical I'd, I'd like to say sign of the zodiac. It's an earth sign, it's feminine, and um, it's also ruled by Mercury, which makes them very, very smart. Um, Virgo, like I said, is uh, the most practical sign of the zodiac, whereas Pisces, which is your, which uh, your north node of the moon is, is the most spiritual sign of the zodiac. So, you can sense the opposition between these two. So, in a past life, you might have been a very analytical person, um, a person that likes to uh, make lists, to plan in advance, that's very, uh, that reads, that always reads the fine print. Even in this lifetime, these things come very easily to you. This is your default setting. So you analyze things. Um, you are always careful about uh, how you plan things, about how you can look av after every single um, aspect uh, of a problem. You know that without reading the fine print and without uh, taking care of the details, the whole picture doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> um, that is the Virgo energy and that's what Virgo is used to doing. Virgo is the sign that um, likes to help people. It's the most uh, helpful sign of the zodiac in terms of day-to-day -day activities. So Virgos want to be useful. Virgos, that's, that's what they, they were born for. Also, they are one of the most workaholic signs of the zodiac because they rule in general the sixth house, which uh, rules day-to-day -day activities and routines and work. Virgos are workaholics, so that is their uh, safe heaven. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I know, Virgo, come on. <laughs> Who loves work so much? Well. You guys do. You uh, get lost in work. You care so much about it that uh, you tend to leave everything else aside. Um, that is your south node and that's what you are um, born with. Also, south node Virgos tend to be very skeptical people. Um, because they're so pragmatic, they dismiss things that seem overly emotional to them or things that don't make sense um, from a uh, rational perspective. Virgos are um, not used to displaying emotions and what's more, they can't really tune into other people's emotions so well because they their, their mind works in such an analytical way, they can recognize pain but they find it hard to tune into someone else's pain so that's why they come up with practical solutions and some people they just need a hug from now and then and Virgo just like just dishes out uh, solutions 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 and drives everyone mad <laughs> no I'm kidding um well that is your south node let's talk a bit about your north node what you need to leave behind my dear Pisces north node of the moon is 
a little bit of your uh, pragmatism, of your practicality. And you need to tune into your spirituality because this is what's going to make you grow in this lifetime. You need to let go of your tendency to over-criticize people and things and situation. And you need to learn compassion. Pisces, uh, north node of the moon, needs to learn compassion both for the people around them and also for themselves. Virgo is so self-critical, you cannot even believe it. As a Pisces north node, you need to cut yourself some slack, man. <laughs> um, also, as a Pisces north node, you need to acknowledge the fact that sometimes people just need emotional support. Um, and you, you can do it. You can be there for them. Don't be afraid to give them a hug. Don't be afraid to listen to their problems. Don't be afraid to cry. If it makes you cry, just cry, <laughs> Virgo. You don't need to hide your emotions because this is what's going to make you grow from a spiritual point of view. Also, also, um, as a Pisces North Node of the Moon, um, you need to learn how to care more about um, the spiritual side of things and less about daily routines, about what makes you feel super safe, you, uh, less about your lists, less about your work, and more about the people and about healing and uh, religion and philosophy and fantasy. Let your fantasy and imagination run free. As a Pisces North Node of the Moon, you've got loads of it. Your Virgo South Node might try to squash it, but don't let it do that, okay? I think that's all in a nutshell, basically. If you've got any other questions about your Pisces North Node of the Moon, please Write them down in a comment below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and also don't forget to subscribe because more videos like this are coming right up. I'll see you next time.